and welcome. Today we are going to look at six different ukulele sizes, ukulele, ukulele, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. We're going to look at six different sizes, eight different ukes, because within those sizes there's some variety. Just in case you're wondering how many sizes are out there, which one's the right one for me, or if you're just curious and you want to add a few ver like different varieties to your collection, this is the video for you. By the way, at the end of the video, I'll do a sound demo of all of the ukuleles side by side, and then the smallest and the biggest side by side, just so you can hear a difference. This one sounds a little bit more like a guitar because it's tuned DGBE, but I do know some people that change the strings, so it's a GCEA ukulele, but this is kind of what it sounds like. Okay, so this one was the baritone. Let's look at the next size over. So this one is a tenor ukulele, and when I put them next to each other, you can definitely see a difference in the size. This ukulele is tuned GCEA. This one has low G tuning, which means that the G string is the lowest sounding string. Most ukuleles don't have that. show you a tenor that has the standard tuning like high G hold on this is the same size ukulele as the other one this is tenor as well but it has high G GCEA I'm playing like the most typical song I did not plan it it's just the song that came out when I held the uke so this is the tenor size now we're looking at the concert size so we're shrinking a little bit and it's side by side the tenor and the concert you can see a difference and then the baritone, which is the biggest one I showed you next to the concert. Now there's a big chunk of difference right there, right? You can definitely tell there. So let's hear it. So if I were to recommend a size to you, and I've never met you, never seen you, concert is a size that I would probably recommend because it's the happy medium. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's right smack in the middle. So. I've never met you, I'll recommend concert. However, however, my favorite size is the tenor. We've already looked at the tenor, and what I like about the tenor, it's gonna sound so dumb, maybe? I don't know. What I like about the tenor is that when I'm sitting down, this part of the ukulele can rest on my lap, and I can play up here. So the concert is a happy medium size. If you don't know what size to buy and you're buying for yourself or for a friend and you can't try on the sizes, concert is probably the way to go. Now, hold on, because some of you might think, oh, that tenor looked really comfortable. Here's the problem with tenor. There are some chords that nobody likes, like E chord, because it encompasses three frets. And on concert, it's doable. On tenor, the frets, these, they're a little bit wider and so to encompass three frets is a bit of a stretch. I have freakishly long fingers so I can do it but I know not everyone has hands like these. So um, that's, that's the thing, that's the catch with tenor. You have frets that are a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna stay in the concert size for a little second because within the concert size we have a different shape. This is called the pineapple shape. This is in a concert size. And the reason why this ukulele is so funky looking is that I have this custom painted. So this is the Ohana DIY kit. So when you get this ukulele, it's in pieces and you can paint and customize the different parts of it. I had a painter from Mexico paint this for me and then we're going to do a drawing to fundraise for music and the art. So that's why this one is so unique looking. This is a pineapple concert size ukulele. So technically these two are the same size, different shape. Up next we have the soprano size. This is typically what we call the smallest size. I still have two more that are smaller, but this is typically what we call the smaller size. So this is a soprano. Let me hold it up next to the concert. Beep, beep. You can see there. And now let's hold it up next to the baritone because that's fun. <laughs> How cute is that? It's teeny tiny. This is usually the most affordable size of ukulele. If a brand has different sizes, sopranos tend to be the more affordable ones. And these are the ones that a lot of teachers get for their classroom because they're on a budget. This is what it sounds like. Now 
Now the Soprano for me is, I mean, this is not something I would play on my lap because it just hangs so low. So this is something that I do play up here, use the forearm to hold. So it can be a little trickier to hold in my opinion, not as comfortable as a tenor for me, but definitely a really cute size. The super mega pro to the soprano size is that this tends to be carry-on friendly. So if you like to fly and travel, soprano is just, it's the right length for you to put in a carry-on suitcase or throw in your tote bag. So soprano is super travel friendly. So I do have soprano, even though tenors are my favorite, I do have soprano ukes just for the purpose of traveling with a uke. Now we are looking at the Sopranino size. So this is even smaller than Soprano, comparison. You can see that there. And look at the body, it's also significantly has like less volume to it. You can see that right there. So this is the Sopranino size. This is called a Keiki, it's by Ortega. And it's one of those ukes I think you can throw in your beach bag and go to the beach with. surprised me about this tiny little uke is that I thought the um, the neck would be so thin it would be uncomfortable to make the cord shapes but it's actually not bad at all like I, I almost don't notice it unless I'm playing all the different sizes like I am today so this is super again like the soprano super travel friendly and now for the smallest ukulele in my collection I think there are smaller ukuleles than this, but the one, the smallest one in my collection is the Sopranissimo. So this one is just a teeny bit smaller than the Sopranino. You can see that there. And let me put it up against the Soprano. Okay, nice big difference there. And, ah! and let me put it next to the baritone. <laughs> That is so funny, like the entire ukulele is almost the size of the body. This ukulele in my opinion is like the chihuahua of ukuleles because like chihuahuas are tiny but they're feisty and they're loud, right? That's got a big sound, like are you kidding me? I've heard concert ukuleles that don't sound this loud, so it's got a, it packs a punch. This one is just adorable. I love it, it's so cute, it's so itty bitty bitty. This one comes in a few different colors as well, so I, I'll link everything down below. I know some of you guys are ukulele hoarders and you like buy new ukes every month. It's okay, I'm a hoarder too. Although I give, I, I give a lot of them away. I hang on to a lot of them because I love them. They're like, some girls like jewelry, I like ukuleles. What are you gonna do? Okay, so now let's hear a side-by-side -side sound demo of all of these beauties.
comments below let me know which size you have and which one was your favorite out of the set in here and if you have something that's not in this size let us know what that is as always it has been so much fun hanging out with you and i hope to see you in the next one Sayonara.